How is it that you go about finding files in Linux? Some GUI-based file managers do have a search function that is built into them, but just like most of the functions that we see at the GUI level, it's just an abstraction of shell commands. So if you really want to know the proper way to find files in Linux, it's best to get familiar with those first. So to start with finding files, let's take a look at the find command. Let's say that you want to find a file where you know the name of it, but you just don't know exactly what directory it's in. Maybe you heard somebody talk about editing your vimrc, but you just have no clue where that file actually is. Well, you could search your entire file system for the file, that's the move if you're really not sure whether or not it's even in your home folder or one of its subdirectories or if it's further up towards the root of the file system. So the command to do that is sudo find forward slash name vimrc. I actually want to put a dot in front of it too. And the reason we have to use sudo here is because we're searching the entire file system. So you don't actually need to use sudo if you don't want to look in directories that require root access. And so here you can see on my terminal output all of the places where the file .vimrc appears. So this one here in my home directory is the one that I would want. There's some duplicates because I have the deploy gen2 folder hanging out in a couple of different directories and I have a separate uh, vimrc for my root user. Now what if I wanted to find all of the rc files because there's a few of those dot files on our system. There's one for bash, one for vim, one for zsh if you use that shell as well and one for htop. Well, we can combine the find command with a wildcard. And if you're unfamiliar with those, I suggest you check out my video on bash wildcards. Well, really it's more of a shell feature than a bash one because it's supported in ZSH and fish as well. Uh, so let's search for all of these. And I'm going to search in my home folder this time uh, just to exclude the dot files in my root directory. So the full syntax is going to be find, and then we want to use name, and then double quote. You could also use a single quote here instead. Uh, dot asterisk rc. And remember, again, put single quotes or double quotes here whenever you're using a wildcard in your string that you're searching for. And so here on my terminal, it has output all the different files that have or end with RC and start with the dot so that we're looking for the dot file specifically. You can also use the find command to look for directories. So maybe you're new to Gentoo and you see people talk about modifying things in your package.use folder, but you have no clue where that package.use folder actually is you can do find to locate it. So we'll do sudo this time because we're going to look through the whole file system. Find forward slash type d name package dot use. So if we walk through this syntax, we're using sudo since we're running find on the root of the file system. We include this uh, hyphen type d for directory. And you could also put type F when you're searching for a file, but that is the default search type whenever you use find. So it's basically implied whether you put it or not. And of course you have the name followed by the string of the folder that you're actually looking for. Another type of search that may be useful is a case insensitive search. So by default in Linux, uh, things are case sensitive. That's why I can create these two files. For example, I can touch file and touch file. And you see that it'll create both of them. They're two separate files because of 
that one different character having a different casing. So let's say you want to find a file that has the word essay in it. You aren't sure what the full name is or even whether or not you capitalized essay. You just know that essay appears somewhere in the file name and that it's located somewhere within your home directory or one of its subdirectories. Well, we can do find dot iname and then we'll do, um, well, actually I'll just do single quote just to show you guys that that does work. Essay and then an asterisk after it. So to walk through this command syntax, uh, we do a find and then the dot just means to search in this directory. And of course, by default, find does a recursive search. So it'll search in my home folder as well as all of its subdirectories. iName means to ignore case. And this thing here, essay, so we're basically saying with an asterisk before and after that any arbitrary number of characters can come before the keyword essay, and then any arbitrary number of characters can come after the word essay. So, you know, I don't know. You guys in school, I'm sure you make all types of different essays for different classes and stuff, but they probably have the word essay somewhere in there, so this is a good way that you can find it. Um, another thing that we can do is searches that are actually based on file permissions. And this might be useful to do a bit of a security audit on your Linux system to see if you have any file types that have some screwed up permissions. So the way to do that would be find, and I'm going to do type f perm, and let's look for files that have the permission 0777, and then we're going to print those out to the screen. Now I actually don't have any in my home folder, any of the subdirectories. Um, but to give you an idea of what this is doing, it's going to look for all files within my home folder that have their home folder and subdirectories that have their permission set to 777. And if you're unfamiliar with Linux file permissions, then guess what? I have another video where I explain that. But as a quick reference, um, basically, seven means that you have all of the permissions combined. So read is four, write is two, execute is one, add them together, you get seven. And the reason for the three sevens is because you have these uh, different groups, or not really groups, but you have um, the owner, so you have the permissions for the owner, you have the permissions for the group, and then you have the permissions for all other users. So three sevens means that all of these rights down here are granted to all of those different people uh, up here. And maybe you're thinking, oh, but I'm the only user on my system. I don't share my computer with anyone else. Well, you aren't the only user on your system, at least not as far as Linux users are concerned. Maybe you're the only uh, biological human user, but other programs on your system create users. And you can actually run this command to get a list of all the users that are really on your Linux system. Uh, it's cut d hyphen f1 etsy password. And so you can see here, these are all the different users that exist within my system. Kenny is obviously me, but you probably don't want uh, all these different guys having access to all of your different files, at least not files that they don't actually need to have access to to do what they do. So yeah, if you run this command and you get a long list of files, then it's something you should look into. It's a bad idea to just have random files in your home folder that anybody can write or execute to. Uh, the last type of find that I'm gonna show you is one that is based on file sizes. So let's say that you want to find all of the files that are greater than two gigs. Maybe you're trying to free up some space on your hard drive. Usually when I do that, I kind of start with the bigger junk folders and bigger junk files, then move into the smaller ones. So our syntax for that is going to be find, 
type F size, and I want to use a size that I actually have files of, maybe 1G. Uh, no, I don't even have any files that are 1 gig in size. Um, but basically, if you did, like if I had, I don't know, a music, uh, not a music, like a movie file or something like that downloaded here, then you would probably see that pop up. Um, so yeah, this is going to list all of the files that are greater than one gig in this directory and all of its subdirectories. Now, maybe you want to search for a range of file sizes, right? You want to look for something that's between one size and another. Well, we can do that with find, and then it's gonna be type F size, and then we want to do greater than one megabyte, and then another size switch, and then we're going to say less than two gigs. So this time it actually returned a bunch of things. Um, so yeah, this is literally just showing all the different files within home and all of its subdirectories that are between those two different sizes. Uh, so that's about it for all the find options, at least the ones that I'm going to show you guys. Uh, this isn't anywhere near all the options that are available though. You could read the man page for find and there's a lot of options here. In fact, this man page is I think over a thousand lines long. Yeah, it's a little bit over a thousand lines. One of the bigger man pages that I've come across. So if you're feeling really bored, uh, it might take you an hour or so to read through all of this and maybe another hour or two of testing to see for yourself what all the options do. But if you made it this far in the video, then you've got some of the basics already down, already remembered, hopefully. <laughs> if not, just watch it again, right? You can always replay it. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to share it with your friends, enemies, as well as your neutral allies. Like the video, subscribe, and tick the notification bell so that you know when new content is being released. Peace out, guys.